Now changing the format of the background is again one of these things that is not possible to do on a proper whiteboard without you know a visualizer or an old style projector. But if you click on the cog in the top right hand corner, you've got this format background button. Now in this, we've got various options of changing the color of the background if there's something that is a little bit more visually appealing or easier to read for the students. But you've also got the grid formats. So I can have a narrow ruled lines, I could have wide ruled, I could have graph, hybrid, etc., diamond. There, you can clearly see there's quite a few. Now what I really like about this is the combination of choosing the background format and the zoom allows you to almost get anything you want because if you go for say wide ruled or graph and it's not actually the size you wanted you can just choose to zoom in or out so i could zoom in here and then suddenly i've got a whole range of different things i i might want to do with this and it, i might feel like if i'm drawing a graph this is exactly the size i need and if not i could either pick a different format or change my zoom level to get it what i want and then i could continue to i don't know draw a graph so i'm going to draw a straight line i'm going to draw a straight line there and i'm going to start graphing something out so this is again one of the features that is not easily possible to do on a traditional whiteboard that might be useful to some teachers